It's called Benedict. It, there's a number of names for it. It always has the word Benedict in it. We need to write these notes. <laughs> Possibly, I'm not giving a test over them. I ain't wasting my time preparing this stuff. It's going to come back and bite you in the honey. I never give stuff away. Have you got a camera? Um, cut my lights off. I might be better for the camera. We need a curtain up up here. Hi. Now, you don't have to write every single word to take notes, right? Some folks do anyway, and it takes forever to take notes. I thought about making a one orange dot to a slide and making them bigger. Would that be a better reality? Instead of having two on one slide? How much bigger can you make? Uh, man, well, I, I could go back and change it my day, but no, I think that's that. fine. I mean, I as long as you can read it. it, yeah, I can read it. Well. Um, Benedict is a man's name, as you may have guessed by now. He was the guy who first, he was a chemist who discovered that this stuff would, would find sugars, it will find, it will find all the disaccharides except for sucrose, it'll find lactose which is in milk so i expect my milk sample will turn real pretty color because it's full of lactose but if you were to, like i said if you were to pour regular sugar in water and make a sucrose solution it won't find that you'll think there's no sugar in there you know it is i look for them in there but these are called these are reducing sugars it finds sucrose is not a reducing sugar and i'll tell you what it means to be reducing in a minute because it's got a strange ending that can be changed. Sucrose don't have the ending, they have the hide. But I'll show it to you. It'll make sense to you. So the, the monosaccharides, if you had pure glucose, and you can buy that in the store, it would it would show that. If you had pure fructose, it would show that. If you had pure galactose, it would show that. Your um your disaccharides, the ones we're concerned about are lactose, maltose, and sucrose. It'll find the first two, it won't find sucrose. If you get bigger, like to a polysaccharide, the huge ones, it won't find those at all. It won't find starches. It won't find starches. There are other tests that'll find starch for you. But it is good though because it's gonna find sugars because if they use sucrose and another sugar to make something, you're gonna find that other sugar. You don't know what it is though. You know that you know that there's something in here that they should. It's got a clicker. Are y'all done? Oh, well, you're right. Okay, I, I'm waiting. I don't want to bore you. Be sitting here, but I couldn't believe it. Up. Yeah. 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 It may have mentioned the mono and disaccharide. If you got something new to give me, put it right now. This is the new paper if you got something to give me. I still have to look at it on the okay, other side. And the old papers are there. So if you got something I gotta give you back, they're right there. I never I give them separate all the time. Let me move on now to the next slide. One second. Who's still right? This is me. 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 This is will react if you do something to it first. And that's what is not in your book. I knew you could find, I knew you could find sucrose somehow, but I couldn't remember what you to add to it. Now I found out it's a hydrochloric acid you add to it. A real weak version. You don't need strong acid. But it will, it will destroy the sucrose. But in doing that, you make a product that that test can then find it. So you knew it was sucrose, but you sure can't drink it. 
So if you if if you tested, for example, if you had a solution in here and you swear you put sugar into it, but it stayed blue and didn't turn colors, you can verify that is it is in fact a sugar by then going right back to your solution, adding some weak acid to it, and you boil it. And then you drop in your Benedict solution, you put it in a hot bath, it will change colors then. But the sucrose you had is gone. You're, you're, you're seeing a byproduct of the glucose you had when it reacted with the hydrochloric acid. Now, if it wasn't sucrose, if you put acid in plain old water, it's going to stay blue. That, that Benedict is blue. If it stays blue, that means it didn't find that anything. If it turns colors, it means it found something. And the colors mean something because green is your weakest color. That means there's not much sugar here. A yellowish orange means there's a little more sugar here. And you get a real pretty brick red color, that means there's a lot of sugar in it. Wait. But you don't know how much. Say that again. Green okay. is what? Okay, if you get a green color, mm -hmm. that's your weakest color. That means you got a little sugar, not bra not bragging right. If you get an orangish yellow or a brownish yellow looking color, that means you got more than you had in the other sample. And if it turns a real pretty red or like a brick red, not fire engine red, a brick red, then that sucker is full of sugar. That's your strongest result. So as far as weak to strong, green would be your weakest. And that yellowish is not the color of mustard. Well, you see, you see it probably, but that's going to be your middle range. If you get a nice, uh, not red like Jared's shirt, I don't see a red like this in here at all. But if, you, if you picture a brick, I don't see a brick. But you know, bricks are red, right? But they're not fire engine red. That's what you're looking for. That means that's in your book, though. Now, next slide. We're going to add water to it. Now you got to you got to have water to to do the test, and then you put in the Benedict solution. Stir it up a little bit, and then you put it in the hot water bath. We'll put it. That's why I said be sure to indicate on your test tube it's yours and which one of yours it was. So when we get done, we'll know what happened. Mine would be BT1, BT2, BT3, and BT4, and I know what they are. You won't know what they are, but I'll tell you later on as we start sharing results. So I won't know what yours are either, so I hope you take them pins back there, that, that magic marker, and mark at the very top of your test tube your initials, and on your list, which one that was. You have your list, right? You'll need to have a list of your, of your samples, and your initials identifies you. And then the number is the one that's in that test tube. Yes, sir. How many uh, how many things are we testing per person? I'd like to say maybe two. I mean, I don't want you to do a whole lot two I mean, if it is two weeks, that's a lot of it. That's more in the book it's set to do. Uh, I prefer that two folks not both do Diet Coke. It wouldn't be enough, right? Unless you don't have anything but that. And if you only have one thing, I don't care. Some folks brought in a lot of stuff that are curious. And if we get done, if you still you can still test things you want to know just like you want to know. So I would suggest this to you. The ones you have the most curiosity about, let those be one and two of your of yours. And the ones behind there, you well, I like no, but I ain't dying to know. Let those be three, four, and five. Follow me? So I have, I don't even have my list yet. I don't and I don't want to forget which one one was, so I gotta write it down myself. Um and the, now, the aldehyde group is what's going to do the reactant. If the sugar has that group, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. All it is is a carbon and a hydrogen and a double bond and an oxygen. That's all it is. But that's what, the, that's what Benedict finds. If that, if that makeup is there, the group, and it looks like, are y'all ready? No. Okay, hang on. Uh, no, no. <coughs> Huh? Oh, she said it. I thought you said it. Yeah. Then truly. Okay. 
And what you're about to hear, I don't think it's in that book. I like I want to know why something happened. You ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. All right. A professor told me one time that I know R means radical. He said it means rest of the molecule. Look right here. There is your hydroxyl. I mean, there's your aldehyde group. Look right there. That's a carbon. And that's the rest of it. The test is looking for this. The test is looking for this. Now, this is glucose. It comes in a straight line. That's your delta shape. It also comes in a circle. Now, in a circle, this won't be there. But in a solution, both of these are there. So if you have the double bond O and the carbon and the H, and then I don't care about the rest of it, but that's what this test is going to look for. And if this is there, it's going to turn from blue to some other color. If you have a, if you have a lot of this, it's going to turn that brick red. If you got just a little bit of it, it's going to turn green. But, but this is the rest of the molecule. And it this is not, it don't care about this. The test is looking for it right there. And I've been I, I liked it when the guy said, just think about being the rest of the molecule. It's a radical group. It's the rest of it. That's what you're looking for. And I wish your book had told you that. It might have. I may have misread it. But I don't, I don't recall the book saying that. So I like to know what these tests are looking for. Now, sucrose doesn't have that. Sucrose are two circle formations and all the carbons are tied up, and you can't find that. Now, if you split sucrose into what it really is, glucose and fructose, then it'll turn colors, because you'll find the glucose and fructose. As long as they're together as the sucrose molecule, this test will stay blue. It won't turn colors. So, I thought to myself, I might one day find me some sucrase, the enzyme sucrase, and have y'all take it, make a sucrose solution, test it, It'll stay blue. Then take the solution out, drop it into sucrase. That's the enzyme that does what to it? That splits it into glucose and fructose. Those are findable. And when you add that sucrase to that solution, it should turn colors in. Because you have then split the sucrose into the monosaccharides that do have that ending. But as long as sucrose is together as two of the disaccharides, that test back there, it would be blue to start with. As it bath, it'll stay blue too. And if it stays blue, that means there was nothing there it found. It didn't find this. All right? Well, we'll go back. That was, I'm just looking at that again. And that's basically all what, huh? That's the end. Yeah, the next thing says the end. Okay. So.